Before anything else, look at my coffee mug. It's one of those cats whose name escapes me at the moment, but I love it. It's beautiful. This is a very dangerous way to show. I could just take a picture of it, then I won't risk spilling my coffee everywhere. Anyways, <laughs> I love watching stationary hauls here on the YouTubes, and I'm really shocked I haven't made one myself yet. If you are like me and have a problem with stationary, that problem being you always buy way too much of it, then this video is for you. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. If there is one thing that I feel most artists have in common is we really, really, really like stationery to what's probably an unhealthy degree. <laughs> I don't even know how many different pens and post-it notes and other things like it that I own, but you know what? I got more, and the reason that I got more is that the lovely people my bracelet keeps rubbing against it's fine. The reason I got more is the lovely people over at Stationery Pal were so kind to work with me and send me some of their products, and I'm just a bit of a spoiler. I'm in love with all of them. <laughs> like, actually, some of my favorite supplies that I've ever used in terms of stationery are things that I'm going to show you in this video. But I also want to say that Stationery Pal is working with me to host a giveaway for you guys. I need to take this off. It's So sorry. The lovely folks at Stationery Pal is helping me host a giveaway for all of you guys, so be sure to stay tuned for later on in the video when I talk a little bit more about that. I, I can tell I'm going to probably spend more money than I should in the future on their website. They have a lot of really cool stuff over there, so be sure to check them out. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling about that. <laughs> they sent me all of my things in a lovely little box, which I not gonna lie, the only reason I'm not opening it now is because it came early in the morning and I wasn't really prepared to film, but I couldn't help myself. I did record some stuff on my phone of me opening up the box because it was just a, it was a really pretty box. <laughs> they also sent me some other little goodies that I wanted to share with you guys because it was very sweet and they didn't have to do that. There's this adorable little teddy bear, which I have, like with stationery, a problem with stuffed toys. That problem being I own too many of them. And again, We'll continue to buy more. There was this bracelet, which I would wear in this video, but it would probably have the same issue as this one. I got this pop socket, which I can't actually put on my phone. On my actual phone case, there's this ring that's attached to my phone. Like, this is just a part of the case. I can't take this off. My mom said to put it on my desk. Don't know the purpose that would serve on my desk, but I guess that is an option. Also makes for a fun toy to play with. That's what I might do. I might put this in my fidget toy box. This little astronaut keychain, which I am for sure going to be putting on my pencil case because look at him. I'm sure he will keep me company on my artistic adventures. There are these little clip things which I've actually been using a lot. <laughs> Whenever I do like watercolors or gouache or pascas or any type of paint in my sketchbook, I'll always use binder clips to help hold the pages down. And then depending on what sketchbook I'm using, I'll use binder clips anyway just to help hold down the pages on sketchbooks where the pages tend to fly up a little bit more. And I have been using these a lot for that. This one, I believe, is acrylic. This one is either acrylic or plastic, I'm not quite sure. But I was super stoked to get this because I don't think I've ever shared it on my channel at all, but I love Kirby. Look, how could you not love that little face? There's this Kirby game on the DS that I played a lot as a kid. Shout out to any Kirby Squeak Squad gamers out there. <laughs> and they also sent me this little thank you card, which honestly, very pretty. <laughs> I really, really like this. I might tape it in my sketchbook a little bit later. I'm not going to lie, there was another thing in there that they sent me. It was this little ball with a bell inside, but uh, that one uh, got stolen from me by a certain someone who will go unnamed <laughs> Mo. But it's fine because he likes it. He's he's enjoying it a lot, so I'll let him have this one. <laughs> I just wanted to share these little goodies because it was super sweet of them to send them to me. Bunch of fun little goodies. But that's not the point of the video. <laughs> Firstly, these things. <laughs> I got a couple little there's a piece of hair there. That's really weird and gross. I'm sorry. Got a couple little paper goodies. First up, we have these watercolor swatch post-it notes. They're not actually water. It's, it's a printed pattern. These watercolor swatch things. These came in a bunch of different colors. I settled on these ones. For any recurring viewers of my channel, they know that in my sketchbook, I'll usually use post-it notes to cover up any sketching mistakes that I have. And I thought that this would be a really fun type of post-it note to have to spice up the look of my sketchbooks. I actually realized for the first time when I was 
filming me using them, but they're like perforated under each swatch. But when I ripped this off, it all came off as one. So you can either use this as a whole sheet itself, or you can rip off just whatever color you want. And I decided to go with this brown and this blue, uh, set? They're not really a set. Shades. <laughs> because for the- I figured for the type of scu scuff- stuff that I sketch, <laughs> these colors would go nicely with a majority of the things that I draw, so then that way I can actually, like, use them. <laughs> I also got these post-it notes, which are super, super cool. They're, like, marble. And again, I figured when I'm using them in my sketchbook to help cover up any sketching mistakes, the, 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 the words, this would be a really cool way to add some flair to my sketchbook spreads. And the last little paper good that I got is this. This is actual- it's actually on my floor now. One thing that I love about my channel is how professional I am. <laughs> but this is originally meant for scrapbooking, but honestly, with the way that I fill out my sketchbooks, they kind of look like scrapbooking anyways. <laughs> they had a lot of options. They had a lot more than just like this one with all these flowers and plants and stuff. The in nature collection. Can't read any of that, but maybe someone out there can. <laughs> I figured these would be nice to use like the post-it notes where I use them to cover up sketching mistakes, or if there's just like a random blank page in my sketchbook that I don't really know what to do with, with and I don't want to draw there. I figured this would be a good thing to have because look at them, very fun. And they are super tiny, which I really like because a lot of the times I prefer a smaller sketchbook. For reference, here's the size of my current sketchbook. So these go pretty nicely in here. Next up, that was a lot less smooth than I had hoped it would be. I have some washi tapes here. I have entirely too many washi tapes. I actually have two curtain rods mounted on my wall full of washi tapes, and I have no room for any more, so I thought, hey, how about I buy more washi tape? <laughs> I feel like when it comes to stationery, washi tape is my biggest uh, addiction, <laughs> but it's fine. I use them a lot to decorate my traditional art pieces, so it's not like they go unused. So first I got these two. They're just like basic grid patterns, one in black, one in white. I don't know why I don't own stuff like this already, and that's exactly the thought that I had when I saw them on their website. They're exactly my aesthetic. <laughs> I'm going to try to slide that one over. But I got this set of washi tape, which is absolutely gorgeous. It has these like gold foils and stuff on it. Let's see if I can lay them all out this way without them rolling around. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. As much as I love how these ones looked, I haven't actually had the opportunity to use them yet, but I am very much looking forward to when I do get to use them. I might actually make a piece based around these, so I know for sure that they will look good with it because they're so pretty and I love them. Again, there's a lot of washi tape on their website that I would have loved to own, but aside from probably these, I think this was my favorite one. Now I have to try to find a way to stuff them on my curtain rod because it's right next to me and looking at it now, uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out. Please pray for me. <laughs> Next up, we have a bunch of writing slash drawing utensils, starting with these two pencils that I got. These are Tombow monograph pencils. This one is in 0.5 lead. This one is in 0.3 lead. I love having really thin lines when I sketch and just in general, really. <laughs> of course, I tried them out in this video, but I've been using them a little bit more as you can probably tell from this eraser. <laughs> but I really, really like these pencils. They're so nice. I will admit these aren't the first colors that I had pictured myself getting, but uh, a lot of the other ones were sold out. But <laughs> I do really like these colors. They are very nice. You can twist the top, make the eraser come out. You can also lock the lead in place. So you take this part, this uh, I don't know what this is called, the little clippy thing, you push it down and then you can uh, push it up and then the lead is locked in place. If you're like me and have a really heavy hand, you tend to break the lead and have to push more out a lot anyway. But for a lot of lighter handed folks out there, a really cool feature to have. I just really, really like these pencils. I'm not going to lie. I don't sketch in pencil a whole lot other than like doing finished illustrations, but I have been doing that a bit more. Just like making sketches in pencil a bit more normally than I would. That wasn't a sentence. A bit more than I normally would. <laughs> and I'm probably going to continue sketching in pen over pencil whenever it's just like a sketch that I don't plan on turning into a finished illustration. But on the off chance I do want to sketch in pencil and whenever I do make a finished illustration, I really, really like these. These are definitely going to be replacing the pencils that I previously used. Very nice. Can definitely recommend. Next up, probably my favorite thing <laughs> out of everything I got in this video. This is a Pentel Energel pen and it's a, a little familiar 
friend on this pen. <laughs> they had a lot of Pokemon stuff on their website. Could have easily gotten everything there, but I figured, you know what? I don't know how many people would exactly be down for me doing a stationary haul video and it's all just Pokemon stuff, <laughs> but I did allow myself one purchase. Look how cool this pen is. It's super nice. It feels very, very smooth to use. I use a bunch of different colored pens, but this one's for sure going to be replacing the current black ballpoint pen that I have. I believe this one is a gel pen. I don't know if it's technically a ballpoint pen, but I'm I'm doing that anyway because look at it, how could I not? I feel like I'm gonna use it a lot and it's going to run out of ink. I don't know if you can refill this ink. If there is, I'm for sure doing that. Returning subscribers of my channel already know I love Pokemon. <laughs> so much. So I was very excited to get this. I got a lot of pens, so bear with me. It was either that or a lot of washi tape, because I tend to use those more than washi tape, even though the washi tape was uh, fairly tempting. But I got these two Muji pens. I have been wanting them for a very long time, because my friend had some, and they let me sketch with them, and I fell in love. They worked so well, they're so smooth, and I love all the colors. But then I just never got any. <laughs> but now I finally have some. I got this one in this blue-black color, and then I believe the color for this one is called Sakura. It looks very pink on here. It's a little bit more of an orangey pink once you put it down. Very, very nice. I'm definitely going to be using these a lot. I honestly really want some more. <laughs> so the next time I go stationary shopping, I might end up snagging a couple more of these. I figured to start with, these are a couple of nice colors. These are the Zebra Sarasa. I don't know if that's the correct way to say that. You can probably tell by the way that they look, but these came in a set. This one is the vintage set. This one was by far my favorite. When it comes to just making random sketches in my sketchbook, I use pens more than anything else. And a lot of these colors, obviously I had black pens before, but all of these colors are colors that I didn't have before. I might've had some similar colors, like I have a purple pen and a red pen, but I don't have these specific shades and I definitely don't have these like at all. So. I was very, very excited to get these. I am definitely looking forward to sketching with them more. And they are also in 05.5 this size. So they aren't too, too thick, which definitely love that about them. And the last pens that I got are these fun little ones. These are Uniball One pens. I believe that's what they're called. At least that's what it says on the barrel. These came in a set. I believe the set was called Fruit Tea, and they're so cool. This one is actually black. I know the thing is white, but it's, oh god, a black pen. <laughs> and then I got an orange, a light green, and this like darker bluey green. I'm gonna be honest, these aren't colors that I would normally pick, but for some reason, when I was looking at the different sets that these pens had, this one just, I, I was really drawn to this one. There are other color sets with these pens that would normally pick, but for some reason, when I looked at those ones, I, I just, I don't know, I wanted them, so I got them. <laughs> They're not colors that I use a lot, but maybe I will now, because now I have them. These ones are a little bit thinner. They are a 0.38. Whenever it comes to, like, the final lines in my sketching, I prefer them to be around 0.3, so I'll probably use these for more, like, looser sketches and then I'll probably use these for more like refined sketches that'll take my time on a little bit more. Those are all of the pens and such that I got. And next up, these fun things. These are actually highlighters. They're very square. I don't know if cream color is the brand. All of the packaging was in Japanese, so I couldn't read it. <laughs> my first and only language is English, and I'm debatably barely capable of speaking that. I really like all of the colors. I talk a lot how I like really bright, saturated colors, but that said, a lot of the typical highlighter colors don't really appeal to me. They're just a little bit too neon. At least for whenever I'm doing sketches in my sketchbook. If you're just like taking notes, they're probably fine. But when I'm adding some color in my sketchbooks, more often than not, I don't want those super bright neon-y highlighter colors. So these are some really, really pretty colors to have. The highlighters that I would use before these ones were the, god, what are they even called? I don't even know. These ones, the Zebra Mild Liner ones, which they actually do have these on their website, I'm pretty sure too. And I'm definitely going to be keeping a couple of those in my pencil case for colors that I don't have here. But I had a couple colors before that are kind of similar, like this one and I think the blue one. In those cases, I am feel like I'm going to be replacing them with these ones. I am going to be keeping a couple of my other Zebra Mild Liners in my pencil case because I use a lot of colors, <laughs> but definitely every single one of these is going to be put in my pencil case. They're very cool. I like them a lot. Next up is the thing that I think I was most excited to try out is this watercolor set. I think A, it looks very cool. B, I was super curious to see how it works because in case you couldn't tell by the name, Stationary Pal does more like stationary. They have like pens and pencils and eyeliner lighters, washi tapes, post-it notes, stuff like that. And I was very surprised to see that they had a watercolor palette there. And so 
my curiosity was piqued. It came just like this. It came with this brush. It came with this like little foam pad thing. As you can probably tell by this sponge. I haven't used it a whole lot, but from just the swatching that I did alone, I can for sure recommend these. Sure, I can't say how they like layer on top of each other and stuff like that. But as you're probably seeing in the footage now, I did not use a lot of paint at all. And when I was putting them down, they came out so bright and vibrant. Like, look at this. You can tell a little bit where I used it but I used like almost no paint <laughs> and they went down super bright and vibrant. I am so excited to use this more. And something that I like to do a lot is I will go and sit in like a coffee shop or a cafe or whatever, and I'll just order a drink, order some food, and I'll just sit there and sketch. And when I do that, I'll usually bring a watercolor palette or a gouache palette with me. I can already tell this is going to replace my current travel watercolor palette. These things can swing out. You can fan them out so you can get to all of the colors. It does not take up a lot of space. I don't know if it actually ended up coming out, but there is also like a little mixing tray that you can Use. Very, very, very cool. If you've never used one of the pens before, it also has this little sticker on the back showing you how to use it. But basically, you unscrew this, fill this up with water, tighten that up, and then whenever you need water, you just give this a little squeeze, and then the water will come out of the top. Since I do tend to work smaller, I will probably have to bring spare watercolor brushes with me because this one is just a tad bit too big to get the fine details that I like to have, but for most of my process, that's a pretty great size to have. And last, but most certainly not least, <laughs> I got a new pencil case. Case. If you've been on my channel for a while, my pencil case is very old and I was very much in need of a new one. Not only did I have it for a long time and it was starting to kind of fall apart here and there, there are some threads coming loose, the elastic inside to hold certain pencils wasn't as tight as it once was. <laughs> the zippers weren't fully functional, they would get stuck a lot, so I for sure needed a new one. <laughs> and I got this one, which I am so excited for. Something that a lot of people on my channel have pointed out that my pencil case was bursting at the seams. It was so super stuffed with so many different things and this one is honestly a big upgrade from that. It's a lot bigger. It, I know it doesn't look it right now, but you can actually, kind of like a suitcase, you can unzip this part and it expands on its own. It doesn't sit open too, too much, but I did want to see how it would keep its shape after I put everything in there and it held it really nicely. This part is super, super big. There's this part, there's this little mesh pocket, some little elastic bands to put pens and pencils in a little zip pocket, which I just closed. I thought it was already closed, but I just closed it. <laughs> a little zip pocket. And then you probably notice on the front, there's this other little pocket. So if you're someone who is able to control your stationary habit, you can keep it zipped like that. But if you're like me and own way too much, you can keep it open and fit your entire life savings worth of stationery in here. <laughs> I am so, so happy. Oh God. I am so, so happy with everything that I got in this video. For anyone wondering, yes, I am going to be putting all of my pins and such on this pencil case, but I like to do that off camera. It's a sacred experience for me. I can absolutely recommend everything that I used. I think everything that I got is just really super fun. I think they're going to add a lot to my sketch book spreads in my videos. I like to keep my pencil case in a very specific way. I'll probably do that off camera because I'm not going to lie with how much stationery I have. It takes a lot of tetrising to figure out <laughs> how to fit everything in there. So I'm going to look at the stuff that I already have a little bit more in comparison to this stuff and figure out what of my old stuff I'm not going to be keeping in my pencil case anymore. And I'm going to take care of that off camera because my god, I own way too much. I don't know how interesting it would be for people to watch me figure that out, but I hope you enjoyed all of this stuff as much as I did. Of course, there is a giveaway to be had, so I will have little pre-recorded Oliver tell you a little bit more about that and how to enter. But first, I would like to give a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. So I will now hand it over to a different, but similar pre-recorded Oliver. <laughs> I want to give a big thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this video possible, especially my tiers three and four members. Big shout out to Jules, Sammy Yang 127, Wildflower, Hale, The Tiny Artist, Sammy Cooper, Jupiter Draws, Nyoko Arts, Sade Rosado, Isla, It's Dorky Arts, Castle Rudel, Anna, Solisor Uwu, Nay Haven, Kiara, Hikari Yu, Jamie, Creatively Anxious, Everyday Today, Dazzy Bones, Michael Sasha Rose, Red Boots the Time Traveler, Cyphernatic, Kyanite, 
Ghost of Miles, Lauka 2, Ava Krupp, Clementine Jam, Lovely Siren, Jay Johnson, Vivi Martin, Bread, Bow Soup, Sarah Truly, Chewy Ghoul, Fantastic Artist, Newly D, Cedric James, Dishwasher, Squeakers, Alertus, Joss, J Maximus, Mel W, Lalaressa, Cornflakes, Bug, Sarah K. Cook, Planting Houses, Deborah Kim, Mocha, Alzacana, Ravern, Jade Gailey, Hen, Gravity Drop, Mitch, Igor, V, Blue, Haru, Blue Devil 4, OMG It's Muppet, K, Faith Rasmussen, Choco Pinda, Shara Amy, Chixen, Sunset Lemonade, Danny, Corporate Dom, Kyron, Ramina, Leia, Tina K, Jules F, Rar, Marshmallow Paint, Tokyo Draws, Vale, 707 Hachi, Aswin, Luna Yoko, Honey and Hoshiko, Caffeine Fueled, Saf, Sammy the Boy Draws, Mickey Rusinek, Moff Strawberry, Kenzie Blue, Iwa Drain, Flap and Julian Spence. And also Max McKinnon and Louis Filigran who joined after this part was already recorded. Thank you all so much for the extra support. It really means a lot to me. If you're interested in becoming a part of my Patreon, feel free to check the description box below. Super, super fun giveaway time. Let's get into it. Firstly, what is going to be given away in this giveaway? The winner will be receiving some stickers, some washi tape, an eraser, a retractable gel pen, a highlighter, a sharpie, a pencil case, one zebra Sarasa vintage gel pen, much like the one you saw in this video, so if you liked those, you'll be getting one of those. A thing of glue tape and a brush pen. Entering the giveaway is super simple. All you have to do is subscribe to the Stationary Pal YouTube channel, which I will link below, and then head over to my Twitter and reply to the giveaway thread sharing your screenshot. I know not all of my followers have a Twitter account, but really Twitter is the easiest way that I can do this because it's the only platform that really allows picture replies, but your Twitter account itself doesn't need to have any sort of qualifications or anything like like that. You can literally just make a Twitter account for the sake of entering this giveaway, and that's totally fine. But over on Twitter is where I will be accepting submissions for this, and the giveaway will last for a week after this video is posted. So if you're interested in joining, be sure to do so before the week is over, and I will be announcing the winner on my Twitter account one week from now. And if you're seeing this video after the giveaway is closed, I will also have a link in the description box to Stationary Pals website. I know that I'm working with them in this video, but just genuinely, I really like all of their products. So if you are seeing this after the giveaway is already closed and you are interested in getting anything from their website, please check out the link in the description box. Not only will you get some super cool stationery, but you'll also be helping out the channel. So thank you. I am going to hand this back to Real Time Oliver over on the desk. Thank you for listening to this pre-recorded Oliver. <laughs> I'm so excited to use all of this stuff more. I am very, very stoked about it. And I want to give another quick thank you to the nice people at Stationary Pal for helping me do this. I haven't done a giveaway ever, but I've been wanting to for a very long time now. So I would really like to thank them for helping me host this for you guys. My sketchbook spreads are gonna be so freaking nice. Anyways, <laughs> thank you all so, so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've used any of these supplies before and what you think of them. I would definitely like to hear your opinion and let me know what you think of this little sketchbook spread. If you are new here, hello, my name is Oliver. I post fun videos here all about art and such. So if those are things that interest you, feel free to subscribe. I would definitely love to have you here. I draw a lot of my own original characters, such as Noe Reese. But if you liked what you saw, I would definitely appreciate it if you could stick around. And if you want to see more from me, you can follow me on social media. Those will be shown on screen now and linked in the description box below. And if you want to see some more of my videos, those will also be on screen now, as well as in the iCard feed, which I got if you want. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know why I said bye like that. <laughs>